Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm B from Plan with Studio B16. Ooh. And today we are doing a spread in my bullet journal. Happy Planner pages. So theme I'm going with today is fall. And I've already picked out some stencils to use. These are the two, the small and the medium fall themed stencils that I released uh, last year. And I maybe use the font stencil 53, but I'm not sure yet. And I was not going to really re-release this one, the 33, but I've gotten a few questions about it. So, and I wanted to use her in this spread, so I will be doing that anyway and um, so I will will be using hexagons for the days I did that in a Halloween bullet journal spread a couple of weeks ago and I want to do it again. So I will just have to mark out where I want them to be and I think I'll just speed through that pretty fast so we don't waste any time doing that. So there we have the boxes marked out, so I'll just uh, draw those in with a pen. I'm using my Paper Made Flare in black. I love those pens, they are awesome. And if you're new here, uh, the stencils are from Studio uh, PlanWithStudioB16.com, which is my shop. Because I make the stencils. And, and if I'm allowed to say so myself, I love them. They are amazing. I started using stencils a few years ago, but I didn't really like the quality of how thin they were, flimsy paper that frayed away and stuff. So I started designing my own about a year and a half ago. So this, this here is made from biodegradable plastic. Uh, they are sturdy but yet flexible. And they are disc bound. So you can keep them on discs and make a little book. Because that was also one of the things I didn't like about uh, the ones I uh, got before. Because they just just had to have them in a bag or a, like envelope and I never could find the one I was after so that was the beginning of me designing my own stencils so now they are easy to organize and store and they are awesome to use So there, the boxes are almost done. I am going to go in with uh, an orange one and do shadows. Just a 
and because I'm going in with a, a different color and probably a paper made flare pen, they are they tend to stain the stencil around the edges, so I get a lot of um, line fingertips, and they ca could can stain. Uh, if you use a fine liner, those tend to not color off and bleed, but the paper makes do. is do I want to use this one and just do a thick uh, shadow or do I want to do a line shadow Actually, go with the paper mate flare. Okay, so I changed my mind. I don't want the lined shadow box. I want it to be covering like this instead. That gives it's more of an impact that way. So we'll just color this one in. You kind of see the lines through, but that's okay. Then I want to do the lines like this instead of the like that. Also, and then I'll just do the rest of them and speed that up. orange shadows behind and the two in the middle here I just did in gray because they are not a part of the, the weekly the weekdays they are just there to like connect the two pages so I'll now go in and decorate a little. I know I want the little lady here on the bottom. I want her down there. So I need to go in with a paper made flare pen.
she is so cute but pretty big so i will be designing a new stencil where she will go but in a smaller size also or a couple of smaller sizes i'm not really sure yet So there she is colored in and what more do we want So I want to do a banner kind of thing here, so you can write in the week, what week it is, and the dates. So we'll just pop these ones out. So do I have anything I want to use here? covers four so if we take that one so that one and that one and how long do we want it to be there and then I'll use the number 19 to put on the other part of the banner so we'll do that not that lot down there does that look good So there I can write the week and the date. Do we want a little teensy weensy hint of uh, orange shadow? So I think I want to do some leaves from the top. They are going to be black instead of orange, just because I want the orange color to pop around the color around the page. And I would rather do the leaves in uh, ink, stamping ink. But this spread I just wanted to do with pens and no stamping inks. Because not all of you have that stamping inks and not all of you want to do to use that. So I thought I would just do a plain old pen 
spread today. I'm sorry <laughs> that actually turned out damn cool so I have some leaves here do you want smaller ones this looks kind of different from those so because we need one another one there So I need leaves over here also, and I'll, I'll actually go in and do some of the to-do lists first. So I know I want some bullet points up here. And I think we'll stick with two. Kind of somewhere over here. There. And I want some here. And here we'll, we'll do five. I love the space this layout gives for the to-dos and like the list part of it. I'll do the leaves before I do the other stuff there. So I'll just see.
So then I want some, I want to use the mushrooms. I have a little one there and I have a little a bigger one here. So I want them somewhere, I'm not sure where yet. And then I want the pumpkins. I will not be using these ones because my absolute favorite are these ones. And I'll be doing them in black also. So. And of course we need a little squirrel. I love squirrels, they are so cute. We have about four ones that live around our house that are here eating food almost every day. So we needed a little squirrel. I put up just Teensy weensy tiny need uh, too far away from the pumpkin, so I just needed to thicken up his paws there. So we need to take a look at the pages to see where we need to add some stuff. So what I really want here is pumpkins, but I need them to stack higher. But if we do a book stack and then a pumpkin on top, can we do that? Can that work? That will actually work. So we'll go with that. So we need to find a book stack. This part moves slightly, so that can be something to keep in good thing to keep in mind. Just do not push a lot of pressure, put a lot of pressure on that specific part. Just go lightly around it. And there we need to color the book in. And I tend to forget sometimes, so some of the edges tend could get so um, get a little warped. So 
there. And then I go in and draw from the edge there to the edge like that. Oh, that got crooked. Like that. Just like to finish the. So it looks like books. And the question is, do we want a small pumpkin? Or do we want the bigger one? Maybe a small one. We can start with that and look how that turns out. There. The big one looked pretty cool, but I'm not sure if we will. We'll stick with the small one. We will stick with the small one. So, then the only thing to, left to do is lettering the days. The hardest part of it all. Do you want to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Monday, Tuesday. We will do that way, I think. Oh, that should have been up there. Oh well. Oh no, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, this is messing up my mind, my head. Mm. Friday. Oh, we'll just do it like this. So, there. I think we'll stop there, because I actually think this turned out pretty cool. I like, it's a lot of decorations, but it's really functional, with lots of space to write. So, I love it. I love it. So, we'll just pop that in. A planner where it doesn't belong. <laughs> I don't have any orange discs, so we'll do it on the glitter ones. There we have it. I actually love the result. And I love that I did the boxes here just to connect the two, but the, the shadows in, in gray so they didn't pop out as much. And here we can write the week and the dates for, or the month. So uh, today we used only paper made flare pens, the orange one and a black one in a medium size. And we used uh, the 33, that is the large fall one. And by the time you see this video, it will be available again. And we used the 32, that is the medium-sized fall stencil. And we used the number 31, that it, that's the small size fall stencil. 
And then we use the to-do divider stencil, as we use almost every time. And I use the number 19 for this banner box. And then we use number 9 for the big hexagon boxes. So that's what we use today. And the stencil shop and the stencils will be linked down below. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you had an awesome time. I did. Until next time, have a great day and stay safe. Bye.